Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Sega video. We've got a big video for you here uh, for this Saturday morning. So we're bringing you the second summer 2021 season model roundup. We're going to get 14 long range ones together. We're going to see what they're all showing for the summer of 2021 for only the second time this season. And uh, I shall get on that for you uh, very shortly. Just say that the first video released today was a nice little 7 a.m. upload. You know, just a nice little quick video. So uh, check that out. If you uh, would like to do that, we're going to have a weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day coming up for you later on today. So it's a big old day at Gals Webbies. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for sharing your Saturday uh, with us. Thank you so much to Rich for the summer updates uh, gift. The uh, summer uh, 2021, the second summer 2021 scene what a roundup will be placed on the summer updates page at gazworthies.com. Uh, for only a few days now, though, uh, for, so from Friday, uh, the pages, all the other pages will just revert back to the home page. The home page will no longer be updated. So uh, end of an era. Uh, later on uh, this week or later on next week on Friday 30th of April. Um, gonna, just going to be YouTube only uh, then, really. But uh, but it's still got a few more days of gasworthies.com to go. Uh, right, so let's get on with the second summer 2021 seasonal, seasonal model roundup, shall we? So we're going to begin uh, with CanSip. So as usual with this, we're going to go through uh, all of the long range wires. We're going to be showing you mean signal pressure or 500 millibar height anomalies. We'll show you temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those uh, heights and mean silver pressure uh, anomalies as well. Uh, so we're beginning with uh, can sips and uh, from tropicaltippics.com, by the way. And uh, we're starting with the mean sea level pressure anomaly for summer 2021. So uh, this is all looking rather average, uh, I think, really. Some, some lower pressure, but not deep low pressure, but lower pressure to our north. A little bit of a ridge extending in off the Atlantic as well. Got the Azores high down here. And it all just looks rather sort of average, rather westerly. A little bit unforgettable, uh, perhaps. The uh, temperature, or a little bit forgettable, I should say. Unforgettable would be something exciting happen. But that all looks rather, rather forgettable, uh, actually. So the temperature anomaly for summer 2021 is no better than around average. And the precipitation anomaly is around average as well. So you have to say not the most exciting or memorable of summers to start us off if can sips is right. Uh, and this is probability temperature forecast from International Research Institute for Climate and Society, IRI, essentially a part of Earth Institute and Columbia University. So uh, prob probabilities are favouring neither sort of warmer or cooler than average this summer in those white colours there for northern, northwestern Europe. So probabilities just favour normal uh, normal temperatures or have no signal. We are favouring a rather drier than average summer, however, especially so for England and Wales. So the uh, precipitation probability is actually in most darker sort of colours, darker brown colours, like 50, uh, 60 percent. Uh, so, so that's quite a high probability, actually, uh, of having a, a dry summer. So uh, the IRI definitely uh, favouring like a drier than average summer, quite strongly and significantly so for England and Wales. Um, but the temperatures, you know, aren't, uh, aren't seem to do a great deal. Right, we'll move on to the NWME suite of uh, models, starting off with NASA. So temperature uh, temperature anomalies from uh, NASA favouring a rather average to slightly above average uh, temperature this summer uh, for 2021. While the precipitation uh, uh, favours uh, or forecast uh, is uh, for a slightly wetter than average summer, actually, from NASA. So, so, if we go, so we go for a rather warmer, but also a rather wetter than average summer. Uh, perhaps. This is GM uh, from Canada. So this is going for a cooler or colder than average summer below. Average temperature is being forecast here by uh, the GM for the summer of 2021. While the uh, precipitation anomaly has no uh, signal really. So no signal for precipitation but a cooler 
uh, or quite cold summer is uh, predicted. In contrast, NCAR, <coughs> excuse me, in, con in contrast, NCAR is going for a warmer than average summer. Substantially so, above average temperatures forecast here in the red colours, which is like one to two degrees above average, not just the UK, but through virtually all parts of the Northern Hemisphere, actually. It really is going to town on the heat in the Northern Hemisphere this summer uh, during 2021. And so a very warm, possibly even quite hot summer forecast there uh, for the UK and for much of uh, Northern Europe from NCAR. And a driving average summer predicted as well. So a lot of different options here. You know, we've got NASA around average. We've got uh, we've got uh, the GM looking rather cold. Now we've got NCAR uh, looking uh, hotter than average. Patel Peng's uh, analogs look like this. Remember, Patel Peng is uh, creating an analogs based forecast looking at sea surface temperature anomalies in any given month, in this case, uh, during uh, the month of uh, March, and then creates, a, uh, then creates an analogs based forecast sort of based on those sea surface temperature anomalies. This is 200 millibar height anomaly for summer 2021, looking rather unsettled with below average heights, low pressure out to the west of the country and income. Uh, the westerly wind. So going for a rather unsettled summer uh, for 2021 with low pressure in off the Atlantic Ocean. Temperature anomalies for summer 2021 are forecast to be warmer than average uh, with Talpeng's analogs, so no problems uh, there. Precipitation anomalies are slightly above average, though. So a warm but rather wetter summer uh, being predicted from Talpeng's analogs. That's especially so later on, I think. So later summer is turning increasingly unsettled with Patel Peng's analogs. CFSV2 700 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like that, so favouring some blocking around green. It's general sort of higher pressure than the normal actually is really. This white area here could be uh, placing a trough of low pressure in the 700 millibar heights. So uh, it might be a little bit more unsettled than you might first envisage. The temperature anomaly for summer 2021 is ever so slightly above average for the UK and for Ireland too. And no particular signal for precipitation, though it is a little bit wetter than average to our west. And you notice like northern Spain, southern France, a little bit wetter than average as well. So it could be a little bit more unsettled actually this uh, summer than you might think based, oops, based on the 700 millibar Height anomaly. Right, that's all sort of the uh, model output done for uh, North America. Let's come to over to Europe. And we're going to start off with the ECMWF. This is the ECMWF mean seal pressure anomaly for summer uh, 2021. Shows the Azores High a long way from us, uh, displaced away from us in the middle of the uh, North Atlantic and going down towards Bermuda, which you will think we're probably going to bring in more, more low pressure from the Northwest. And it doesn't really show that. But with the Azores High kind of placed uh, quite a long way away from us, for summer anyway. Uh, so the Azores High displaced a long way from us. Uh, with that, you will think we probably fill in the gap with lower pressure and uh, the jet stream. Um, so let's have a look at temperature anomaly. That's close to average or slightly uh, above average for the precipitation on from the ECM. Uh, a little bit against my interpretation of how it would work out. Actually looking rather dry here for summer 1021 across western parts of Europe. But uh, but to me, that means there pressure on me hints anyway at the Azores High being displaced in the uh, in the Atlantic. So I don't know what, about that one. But it looks rather rather warm and dry uh, for western parts of Europe. Uh, but doesn't really tie in with mean silver pressure anomaly, I don't think. Let's have a look at the Copernicus suite of models, starting with Metro France. So this one is showing, uh, and this means our pressure on me again, by the way. This one is showing low pressure around Greenland ice and high pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic. So again, you're probably ambitious we bring in a westerly type uh, thing uh, with that. Temperature anomaly uh, for summer 2021 with Metro France is close to or above average, close to, to our north and west, close to average to our northwest, but actually warmer than average to our southeast and quite hot really for much of northern 
and uh, Western Europe. And the precipitation anomaly for summer 2021 is just very close to uh, average from Metro France. Uh, DWD uh, looks like this. So, uh, again, low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, some higher pressure just to our southwest. It all looks very sort of averagey to me, this. Most of these bars seem to be going for some sort of some sort of uh, low pressure around Greenland and Iceland, some sort of westerly type uh, setup coming in off the Atlantic, which is not going to be particularly hot in the summer. Although we're all going for a slightly above average temperature, but you can probably shave half a degree or so off that uh, a lot of the time. So uh, close to average, westerly, and maybe a little bit changeable. Uh, DWD, again, quite weak, weak similar for precipitation. It's dry on average just to our southwest, or it's wet on average just to our north. I think just generally a little bit of a westerly sort of meandering type flow. Uh, CMCC, the Mediterranean model, shows nothing really to work on. There is a little bit of higher pressure up towards Greenland, otherwise not really anything else to, to go on there. Uh, and in terms of temperatures, again, very close to slightly above average CMCC. And again, just no signal really uh, for precipitation either, so that doesn't uh, offer anything of use. Uh, JMA uh, looks like this, uh, means there were pressure from the Japanese Meteorological Agency. Again, lower pressure to the north, rather than ice, and higher pressure middle of the Atlantic. I think this is like the Azores height. It's like pulled away from us in a lot of these models, which, to, to me, that would indicate, like, uh, a, a influence on the jet stream, uh, northwest southeast alignment, probably to the jet stream, and, and lower pressure digging in at times from off the Atlantic, a rather cooler and changeable sort of summer. Is that how I would interpret that mean, see of a pressure anomaly? The temperature anomaly from the JMA is actually cooler one of the cooler uh, range of the Mars, just close to average or no signal. And that's a little bit more like what I'd expect to see uh, with that kind of mean cell pressure anomaly. And maybe hints of being a little bit on the wetter side uh, as well, just to our northwest. I mean, it's not a wet summer being in particular, but it does look a little bit more on the to our northwest, doesn't it? So I think that does that all ties in with the mean sea level pressure anomaly. We can't show you Jams Tech again. Unfortunately, this month Jams Tech is down still. Um, so I don't know what's happened. Whether Jams Tech will ever come back, I don't know. Um, but for the time being, Jams Tech is still unavailable. So we will move on from Japan to China. And uh, we're going to show you the Beijing Climate Center. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly for summer 2021. Basically going for above average heights in the Atlantic to our north and west. Um, and probably some weaker pressure, but not particularly low, but weaker pressure to our north uh, slightly. But 200 millibar height anomaly, which looks at a slightly different area. That's here. Looks like this. Again, a higher pressure in the North Atlantic. A bit of pressure, high pressure around Spain. And it's a bit of a normal blocking uh, as well. This area could be under the influence of a trough of uh, low pressure. Temperature anomaly with Beijing Climate Center is around to ever so slightly above average, not a particularly big deviation. And a rather drier than average summer is indicated there with Beijing Climate Center. That's another one that's kind of nondescript, very forgettable sort of summer uh, with Beijing Climate Center again, I think. And then the last one I want to look at is, of course, our very own UK Met Glossy 5. Uh, uh, mean cell pressure anomaly with uh, Glossy looks like this. Uh, low pressure is up to our north, some higher pressure just to the southwest of Ireland. Probably bringing in a bit of a westerly type uh, flow again. All looks rather forgettable. The temperature anomaly is only around average to slightly above. A particularly hot summer indicated precipitation again close to average slightly above for more northern areas and that's it we are done for the second summer 2021 seasonal model roundup and what do we make of that again you know really really weak signals i think whether these models have got much of a clue here or whether they're just reverting to their default setups it's hard to know there's no signal really from any of these models for an especially hot summer i don't think so we can put that on the table but there's no signal here for uh, for a particularly hot summer but on the other 
hand, there's no signal for a particularly cold summer either. There's no signal for a particularly wet summer. There's no signal for a particularly dry summer. It's all looking very sort of averagey, nondescript, forgettable, you know, just, just a rather banal sort of summer, I think, if a lot of these models um, come off. We've not all that much uh, going on. Um, but I suppose if, if it is like that, you know, if it is like a very average sort of summer, that will be a lot cooler compared to what we've had over the past few years. So if it's a summer that doesn't have any of those hot or does have many hot sort of southerly pushes, southerly blooms, and um, extreme heat coming out of Africa and Spain. If it's if it doesn't have that, then that will be noteworthy. You know, that will be a noteworthy development for this summer, uh, because it will be very much against what we've had over the past few summers. So that on its own would be, you know, if it's an average summer, forgettable summer, that would be unforgettable in a way, because it would be a deviation from what we've got used to. But I'm not sure that a lot of these models have still got all that much idea about this summer, uh, to be honest. And so I think the third and final season model roundup that we will do at the end of May is going to be very critical uh, to see what these models are showing for summer 2021. But that's it anyway. That's it for the second summer 2020 update. So uh, all it remains is to say thank you so much uh, for watching. Please like the video, share the video as far and wide as you possibly can. Tell your friends, family about Gazworthy. Show them this video and uh, and get them to subscribe if they would like to do that. Thank you so much, everybody. And we're going to be back later on your weekend forecast and your 10 to 14 day that will include all of the regular features as well. Uh, and tomorrow, of course, we've got our sixth summer update. Um, so that's going to be an interesting watch tomorrow. For this second summer 2021 season one roundup, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.